Well, it's nothing like it was a year ago. You may still be noticing, again, some products very hard to come by when you're out shopping these days. And when you do get your hands on them, the prices are way up. Luckily, toilet paper is not one of those items this time around, but there are other products and services that we should be looking out for. News Channel Line's Julia LeBlanc is live in studio with us this morning. So, Julia, what are these items? Well, we talked to the supply chain expert with Syracuse University, and he says right now consumers should be aware of four items and jobs that are either pricey or hard to come by. Now, that's lumber, semiconductor chips, chemicals, and truck drivers, believe it or not. Patrick Penfield tells us the pandemic and the weather are to blame for this. This problem, COVID-19 shocked the supply system and suddenly manufacturers were backed up and he doesn't think this is going to end anytime soon. So his advice, purchase things based on necessity. So if you can postpone major projects or purchases like renovating your home, you might want to do so until those prices drop. And if you can't, you'll need to shop around and make sure you're getting the best deal or buy during the off season. Now, the biggest shock to Penfield about all of this, though, are the lumber prices. The big surprise is the price, right? So it's jumped up 180% from last year this time. So it's, uh, we, we know we have plenty of trees. Uh, the, the issue right now is that we just can't process enough lumber through the sawmills. A lot of it happened because of COVID-19. Again, the, the sawmills shut down. They didn't build up any inventory. Now, Penfield says he doesn't think any of this could have been avoided, and we haven't seen anything like this since the Spanish flu, and it's been tough for us, for consumers, and for the manufacturers. One way, he says, to possibly help this in the future is to make sure that all there's a supply chain for the products we're talking about here made and manufactured right here in the U.S. Nicole?